Hi guys, it's Emily. Um, I'm here to bring you my September wrap-up. I've read seven books this month. The first three I read in Texas, and I showed them in my library haul video. So if you really want to see them, check that out. I'm going to show you them on my phone, but they're all, um, it's like when you show it on the screen, you can't see it anyway. So, oh well. So the first book I read in September was Very Good Very Good Lives by J.K. Rowling, which is a very short novella, and not, not a novella, but a very short book um, of a speech that she made at Harvard University, a commencement speech, and it had very pretty illustrations, black and red and white. And I read it in like, I don't even know, like 20 minutes tops. And then I read it again the very next day because I was in my car with time to kill and that was in my car. So I just read it again. The next book I read in September was The Gifts of Imperfection by Brene Brown. This was a self-help book. It was very short, but unlike Very Good Lives, it took me a long time to read it. It took me like a good week to read 150 pages because I felt like it was kind of slow and repetitive, and I don't know, it just, I didn't get that much out of it. I thought I would relate a lot more to it due to certain things going on, but I didn't relate to it that much. And then the last book I read in the, from the library in Texas was The Wright Brothers by David McCullough. Such a good book, y'all. Like, I, okay, so I checked this book out, My and I was reading the some other books before that and my mom wanted to read it so she read it and then my dad read it and then I read it so my whole family read it this one book and it was really good definitely recommend if you like history or flying or any sort of thing like that the next book I read I have a person it's um Lady Alwine Alinia and the Real Doubt Abbey The Lost Legacy of High Queer Castle um, by Fiona Kanaravan, also known as the Countess of Kanaravan. My brother's boyfriend gave me this book for Christmas because I really like Downton Abbey, or I should say I used to like it. I kind of got out of the habit of watching it, and I haven't, I'm stuck on like season four. I don't know. Anyway, so this was based on the real, the lady that, one of the ladies, I should say that, lived there, and her name was Alminia, Al Alminia, of course, but um, this was kind of slow, and it wasn't that well written, and I, I don't know, I just didn't enjoy it, and I am going to keep it because it's a gift from my brother's girlfriend, but it's not a book I plan to reread or anything, but yeah, I mean, I can't even recommend it because it was like poorly written. But it's a biography of this lady Almenia who lived at the High Clear Castle during like the Edwardian, the Edwardian age and then like into World War One. Or no, sorry, World War Two. Like I can't even remember. Yes, yeah, World War One. Like I, this book is so forgettable. I didn't even, I couldn't even remember what war it was in. But yeah, so oh my fair. Um, the next book I read was called The Bugles Are Silent by John Arnack. This is a fictionalized account of the Texas Revolution. I got this as a Valentine's Day gift a while ago, and I brought it with me to Tennessee to read because, you know, I can't get my library card yet and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, my mom gave it to me. Uh, it was okay. Another fair book that I probably wouldn't have read unless I kept it as a gift. And I didn't have anything, I did not know much else to read. Um, it's, like I said, if you like Texas history, this is a good book. Um, other than that, I would not recommend it. The next book I read was Bob Schieffer's America. This is another book that I got from my mom. I think it was for either Christmas or my birthday. Um, I went to Bob Schieffer's alma mater and I actually got well, okay, I started out as a, well, look, I got my shirt on, Texas Christian University. That's our alma mater. And um, anyway, I 
started out in the journalism program, which is where he went. And it's also, it's actually known as the Schieffer School of Journalism now. But anyway, uh, this is just a group of his, like, essays that he used to talk, he used to, like, write a little essay and read it at the end of his broadcast every week. And so these are, it's just a collection of them. It's pretty good. They're all about politics, and then there's some, like, interesting news stories and things like that. Uh, I'd recommend it if you like journalism or Bob Schieffer. Uh, otherwise, you know, not, like, the greatest book ever. Just a, just a book. The last book I read in September, I finished in yesterday, and it was, it's called The Autumn Light. Illuminations of Age, edited by L. N. Shulman, and this is a collection of stor short stories that are based around the concept of getting older and aging. Uh, my mom gave it to me, and my mom is a 61-year-old woman, so um, there's a whole bunch of writers in here, um, Truman Capote, Ernest Hemingway, uh, Kurt Vonnegut Jr., Carson Oh, what is his name? Carson McCullers, um, and then some authors I didn't know, and then, but yeah, it's a pretty good, it's a good book, and it's a quick read. I read, like, two a day, and got it done in, like, four days, so definitely something to recommend if you're interested in the topic of aging. This is an older book. It's from, like, I want to say 1970, 1978. So it is an older book, but if you like older books, this is a very interesting. I really enjoyed the stories, and the, my favorite one of the store of the stories was called "Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow" by Kate Vonnegut, Kurt Kurt Vonnegut Jr., which is on page fifty one fifty seven. So yeah, that's what I read this week, and uh, what I'm currently reading is. The Secret History of Wonder Woman by Jill Lepore, and I got that on Kindle from the Nashville Public Library. But after I got it, there was a problem with my address, so now I have to go in person if I want to get any more. So I think I'm going to keep reading the books I brought from Texas for the time being, and then once I finish those, or if I finish them, then I will probably go in to look at the library. But I hope everyone had a great September, and I hope everyone has a good October. It's finally feeling like fall here in Nashville. I got my long sleeves on. Crazy. Uh, and I'm not used to having a fall, because I'm from Texas. So this is weird, but I like it. So anyway, I'll see y'all next month. Bye.